Cushing, Oklahoma, a town of 8,000, long proud of its oil industry, now feeling the Earth's response deep under their feet. It was just more of an explosion, and just everything come off of the walls, and we come up in the air. On this stuff over here, just bring it over here. And Steve Walker's store is among the buildings damaged by Sunday's 5.0 magnitude earthquake that hit Cushing. It's all loose. It, you know. Earthquakes of significant magnitude are not normal in Oklahoma. Yet there have been thousands of them here since 2009. Ever since the increased use of wastewater disposal wells, which is part of oil production, became popular here. And geologists say that those wells and the earthquakes are definitively linked. Cushing is right there, mm -hmm. and there are the string of earthquakes we're worried about. The Oklahoma agency charged with overseeing the oil industry has taken emergency action, telling operators to, for now, curb the use of 700 disposal wells near Cushing. This has to be solved. The industry knows this has to be solved for public safety reasons, obviously, but also for their own survival. But the state measures have stopped short of a moratorium on disposal wells. Things cannot continue this way. Wouldn't a moratorium be an immediate solution to this? A moratorium under Oklahoma law poses all kinds of uh, problems. Those who could change the law, members of the Oklahoma legislature, have taken only limited action against the industry that more or less funds the state. Representative Corey Williams' efforts to pass a moratorium have failed. What I'm afraid we've done is by allowing them to continue to inject at the increased rates that they were injecting at, we have really destabilized the ground beneath us to the point where now I'm not for sure we can get it back under control. Can the earthquakes be controlled and how? No one knows. As researchers work to better understand the phenomenon, even some Oklahomans who've suffered earthquake damage say they'd rather keep the oil pumping. Do you think they need to stop producing oil here? No. Why not? Well, because that, like I said, that's, a, that's our bread and butter. At stake are an economic tradition, the environment, and people's lives as Oklahoma continues its man versus nature experiment. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Cushing, Oklahoma.